Hi there and welcome to this video. It's Kevin here and I've been modeling this pot uh, in ZBrush. I've sculpted it. I've got a high version model like this and I've got a low version model and the low version model I want to take into substance and paint and I'll use the high version model as my normal map. Pretty standard. Okay so that's fine um, but when I did it I got this problem so let's just go over here and you can see it in substance painter here after I baked it and you can see this is the low mesh let me just switch on the wireframe so you can see yeah, bink there yeah, so it's the same as the low one in uh, ZBrush and that's the low one here okay so what happens I bake it down and sorry let me just turn that off again like so and you think yeah that looks pretty good that looks nice it works really well but on a closer inspection let me just bring it over here can you see that hopefully you can see that see all these lines all over them uh, all over the model getting really close there we go now you can see that really clearly you can see them all down the handles and it's basically the normals for the low poly mesh has not been set they are um, they are obviously causing a problem on the bake so what you have to do here is basically reset them I'm going to show you how to do that but I can only show you doing that in max because that's what I use but I'm sure most uh, 3d packages have their own system for doing this so i've brought, already brought it into max just to speed things up so you don't have to wait around things loading so here it is inside max this is the low um the low model and let me just turn off edges so you can see that it is there it is okay so what we have to do is reset all the normals so we make sure it's selected here and it's an editable poly. We go to um, modify list and we go down to edit normals there. Bing, and we can see the normals here. Just take that display length down because it uh, can be quite annoying looking at that. That's better. So now we can see all the world normals. They look, look, they look okay. So what we need to do is select them all like that. And in 3D Studio, we have a Unify button here, and we can click that, like so. And what that will do is just completely unify and reset all the normals for this model. Um, let me just collapse this stack. Yes, we re-export. I've already done this, uh, so I'm just going to show you what happens when when you bring it in. So you just got to export, export as a uh, FBX again. We go back into Substance Painter once you've exported it. So what you do, what I just generally do, you can modify your project, uh, but what I do is just go to uh, New and basically start again. So you select the low mesh, um, 1020, uh, 2048, I had this on, click OK. We don't want to say we just discard that one. So we get the old one back in. You can see it's all smooth, uh, but we want the high bake on there so we go in here and we I always add an ambient inclusion when I need it bake mesh maps turn off ID I don't want an ID we select the high version here Envars high and it's always been that one and then we just bake again you can see bakey bake does its thing Click OK, and there you go. You can see no more problems. You can see the odd seam here, but that's a UV seam, and we can fix that. That's not a problem. Uh, and there we go. There is no more. Those lines have gone. All the normals have been fixed, and it's just taking the normals from the normal map that we baked from the high mesh, and that's fixed my vase. And that is it. And you can now start painting knowing that I don't have that problem anymore. So that's it. I hope you found that useful. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.